All right, guys, yeah. there's two fish on the same rig. We're gonna let this girl go. Bye bye, baby. Back. Hey guys and girls, so it's November 30th today. We're out here off Little Egg Inlet, New Jersey, doing a little trolling for striped bass. Uh, we just got going, marking some uh, some occasional fish, but no bites yet. Uh, there's a little fleet made up here. Uh, it's pretty chilly out this morning. Uh, we're in my little boat today. It was only Zach and I, so I uh, decided to run the little boat. Uh, typically when I run my, my smaller boat, I really only run three rods. So as you can see here, we have two going out the back, one off the side. This sucker here, this is the one that I have the lighter mojo. So I have about an uh, eight ounce and then a trailing is the four ounce. This one has a 24 ounce and probably a, an eight ounce trailer. And then straight down, this is one of the bigger 32 ounce lead baits and probably about an eight ounce trailer on that one as well. So we're controlling around 2.5 to 3.5 knots. You wanna stay fairly slow and just keep those mojos working. So there goes the trailing bait, there's your three-way, and then there goes the lead bait. Uh, get a little bit of speed. And you can see the lead bait swimming, and then right behind that, bring up the trailer bait, is your trailer bait. Okay, so then once your speed picks up, you'll see that trailer bait really kind of lags behind the, the lead bait. So Zach's gonna let that out. I got the boat going just about three knots. You don't need to go fast, you actually want to go pretty slow. That's the trailer. That's the lead. So the lead is on five feet. Trailer's on about 15. Zach's gonna go ahead and deploy that rig. See if we can't get bit here. See it, sw see it swimming there really good. You yeah. have one in front of the other. Perfect, bud. Here goes Zach deploying the second setup. Again, one in front of the other. You can see how it swims perfectly like that on that three way swivel. Okay, so we are hooked up. Zach's on, we've been trolling for all of two minutes. Now the key thing with these mojos is always keep that boat moving. That heavy mojo a lot of times wants to pull out of that fish. So I'll intermittently just bump the boat in and out. You see Zach's always keeping pressure on that fish. And again, we've been trolling for about two minutes, that's it. All right guys, so again, we've been trolling for all of two minutes and Zach's got a big one on that trailer. There he is right there. Now we're gonna release this fish, so no gaff, no net. Zach will just probably heave him right on board, but that's a big fish. Definitely, definitely in the high 30s, easy. Okay guys. Okay guys, and that's the mojo. Just like that, we've been trolling for all of two minutes. There you go, bub. There she goes, give us a little kick. Okay guys, when we're talking about speed trolling these mojos, typically for my boat, it's anywhere from three to 3.5, occasionally four knots. Uh, now I again run a twin diesel boat, uh, 500 horsepower a piece, so 
For me, unfortunately, I have to bump one in and out of gear. Uh, occasionally, you can tie a bucket to your boat, but I just kind of think that gets in the way. But it's a lot easier on a smaller boat to get that perfect speed. There you go, guys. Just like that. Zach was putting that rig back down to fine bottom. Every now and then, you want to hit bottom. Make sure you're near, you know, near the bottom, lower in the water column. And just like that, he got bit. So we're two bites in just five minutes of trolling. Again, guys, it's very productive. Oh, wow. Look at all the fish. Dude, they're, dude, they're right here. They're right off the bow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. I hope I got that. He's right here chasing it. Holy cow. Look at that, Look at that guys. That's all striped bass right there. All striped bass. Okay. comes our second again we've been trolling for about five minutes it's all bird play it's all some life and just like that guys we're two for two so it works all right guys two for two in just several minutes there you go we're gonna let that fish go live another day See you, baby. Uh, there we go. Giant stinking cockpit, and you can see we're tripping over anchors and everything like that. We were rigged up for tog fishing, not striped bass fishing, so sorry about us tripping around. It's not usually like that. Oh, we're just like that. I'm just sitting there filming. We got another one in the water, and bam, we got nailed. So we're on them, guys. I'm going to go reel this fish in. Actually, I wonder if I can just leave this going and video you. Oh yeah, there you go. I can video you. So one of the things I always preach on my boat is being versatile. Uh, you can't always pigeonhole yourself into just one fishery per day. We are always rigged and ready to go for one, two, sometimes three or four different fisheries in a day. This day the tog fishing was slow. We were obviously geared up to fish for the blackfish. I saw birds working in the distance. I had a feeling that they'd be feeding on bunker and that this pattern would work. So we pushed in shore, we put the spread out, and it didn't take very long. And that's mojo, baby. Is it? We got from the bridge. I think I do. I do. Oh. I, I thought so. Look at that, guys. Two fish. That one's good. That's a big one. Little guy and a big guy. All right, yeah. See you guys. Start choosing white. That's all you need, baby. Double up right there. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. yeah. There's just, I got that. That we go. That's good. Picture this. Alright guys, yeah. that's two fish on the same rig. We're gonna let this girl go. Bye bye baby. Back. There we go. There you go, baby. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, you missed it. He's on there. 
Alright, come and get him. Alright. Put her down. Probably too fast, huh? Oh, I missed it. Go on the deck. Other one hooked up, Zach, he's fighting him. So guys, typically when I'm running my 43, we run a four rod spread. Uh, different depths, different distances from the boat. On this day, it's just uh, there, Zach right? and I, so there really is no need to run any more than two rods, to be honest with you. I'm up in the bridge, he's running the cockpit, and the fishing was so good this day, you really could have fished with just one rod. But typically, if I have a crew, we'll run four rods. Uh, again, different depths, different distances from the boat. You got two, you got two. Another double. Another double. Oh, that's all right. This little guy. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. All right, on camera, treat him good. That's like yesterday. Little guy. Hey, bud. Guys, thank you so much for checking out that video on how do you catch big striped bass on the lure known as the Mojo. As you can see today, it's another lay day. It's absolutely miserable out. It's foggy, it's rainy, and it's blowing out of the southwest yet again. So, uh, no fishing today, so I figured I'd just do a little wrap up here. On that first day on the little boat, we only caught that one small striped bass. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on video. The second day, we're actually mostly doing tog fishing. We only fished for striped bass for all of 45 minutes to an hour. We had 10 fish. Several of them were well over 35, 36, 38 inches. Uh, I didn't even measure the one that I kept, but we'll take a peek at that now. Um, in the next video, I'm actually going to go over a catch and cook. We're going to do a striped bass parm, so check that out. Also, hit that like button, subscribe below. More videos coming up. See ya.